hi everybody it's Jay I wanted to do a training tutorial on how to set up your Facebook business page to be a virtual store or a shop uh, there are a few things you have to do on your page settings to get this shop tab option so I'm gonna start with showing you the settings that you have to have to set it up. So if you see here, I clicked on the settings in the top right and off to the side, you see all these different sections. If you click on templates and tabs, you will see that mine currently has the shopping template. If you click on it, edit, you're going to see different options, business, venues, nonprofit, etc. So if you go to your business page, it's probably likely that it might not have the setting as shopping because there's some extra details that you have to put in when you choose this template. So mine is already set up. I'll click on view details just so you can see really quick. This is the shopping template. It tells you what buttons you can have and tabs and things like that. Okay, so that's my current one. So I don't have to do anything right now, but what I'm going to explain to you is that if you do not have this set up already, it's going to ask for some information when you select it. Um, you're going to have to put in, oops, I guess I'll just close that. You're going to have to put in, if I remember correctly, um, your business ID number, which for me, I used my social security number. Um, I guess you might have a tax ID number or something like that. I just use my social security number because I just do it as a sole proprietor. It depends on your situation. I would imagine that for most people, you're doing it just as a sole proprietor individual. So you would put in your social security number. The other piece of information it's going to ask for is a bank account. Uh, I believe that is for when you're taking payments for pieces that you sell through your shop tab. It's going to actually... Uh, take a percentage just the same way that PayPal does when you take payments through PayPal so it needs a banking uh, information it's also trying to make sure that you're a legitimate company or business uh, so that it's you know you're not trying to fraud anyone so with that being said once you have it set up as a shopping business page you will have this little tab here you also um, can change your button on the front page. You can see here I have it set to shop now. Now, if you click on test button, you'll see it's going to open up my little virtual shop. Um, you don't have to see the whole thing, but that's what it is. Um, you can change that to different things. You can also um, point it to different places. So for now, I have it pointing to my uh, external shop, which is separate from Facebook. So here's your shop tab over on the left. So I'll click on mine so you can see it. I have some products in here because I have been working on this on my end with adding in my inventory. Um, so when you have it set up, you can add products. Now, I'm not going to add any right now because I am doing mine kind of a slightly different way. But I think I can kind of show you. Let's just go to, I'm trying to think of where I go to add one. Give me just a second. <laughs> I should have looked at this ahead of time. You can see that it shows them and it's really nice. So I'll just click on one real quick so you can see what it looks like. When you have your products loaded in, you can put as many images or at least several images as you want for one product. So if you have different, um, you know, stock photos, you can put them all in. You can add in your de description. Right now, mine just doesn't have one. I have just a, a file name there. But you can see that you can put in a product description. You can put a, a product title. You put the price in here. And then they have a little button here where they can purchase the piece. Now, mine looks a little differently because I have a separate external site. So when you click on it, it's actually bringing you outside of Facebook. But if you're just using your Facebook page, it will say buy now or something along those lines. And they can actually purchase the piece which is pretty cool. I think it's called Facebook Checkout, 
I believe is what they use if they're just purchasing it, purchasing it straight through Facebook. Um, let's see. I was trying to see if I could just show you what it looks like when you're adding a product. It shows the share button, but I'm not sure how to add any. Well, basically when you have your shop tab, you can go in and you click on add product and you would just go ahead one by one, adding in images with the description that you want to use and the title of your piece or the name of your piece, as well as the price. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. So if this is something you're trying to do and you want to see how it works and you're um, going in to try it out. If you run into any questions, just ask. Um, you can also always use a Google search for something if you're not sure how to do something. And I'm sure you can find tutorials all over the place about how to do it, um, including Facebook's own um, frequently asked questions. They're pretty good about laying out how to do things like this. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that real quick. I'm trying to think if there were any other things related to a shop tab that you would need to know. You can see that you can set up different collections. Um, so right now I actually am setting up things that break it down by color or by type. Up here you can see I have type, so unisex, rings. This would be all of my pieces, just paparazzi accessories, necklaces. Multicolor is another one. So I have it broken down by both type of jewelry as well as color of the jewelry. So there's lots of different ways for people to browse. It's really quite handy. You don't pay anything extra to have this except for the processing payment fees. Uh, and once you have this set up and you have products, you can actually share the products right from your shop tab. So you can click share here and then you can share your product on your page or on your profile, your groups, in your shopping group, wherever you like. Um, you can also just copy the link, which is right up here, and then paste it wherever. So let's say maybe you want to do it in Pinterest. Um, hopefully my timer isn't going to run out while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> I only get 10 minutes for this screen share thing. So if you go on your Pinterest account, you can take a link and share it. And when you do that on Pinterest, it's pretty cool because it will bring them right back to that shopping tab and you can have them purchase your piece right on your page. Ooh, where's it? I don't usually do it for my computer. Where's the link? I would just want to put in a link. Um, Add a destination link. Oh gosh. Well, this isn't working out. I should have planned this ahead of time. <laughs> Sorry about that. But basically, you get the idea. You can take this link and share your products very simply once they're loaded into your shop tab. So it's a pretty cool feature of Facebook business pages that I have discovered, and I'm actually really enjoying getting it set up. I think it'll be handy for customers and for you if you want to load up your on-hand inventory and make it easy for people to shop your pieces when you're not live. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!